Welcome to Owner Tips Series. In this tutorial, we will show you how to respond to a booking request. The first thing we're going to do is go to canadastays.com homepage. Once you're there, scroll over to the top right hand corner where it says log in and click. This redirects to our login screen. You're going to go ahead and enter your email address and then your password. I'm going to go ahead and type one in and click sign in. Great. Now you're in the back end dashboard. This is where you can see everything, your upcoming reservations, your profile, uh, your account, everything you need is here. So if you scroll to the very top where you see the envelope, there's a little white dot. It means you have some pending uh, messages waiting for you. So we see we have one up here that we haven't responded to. So we can click here, but the other way, if you want to see all your reservations, just scroll over to the left-hand side. This is your main navigation menu. So we're gonna go ahead and click on reservations. There, we have all the reservations uh, that are upcoming or that have been declined recently. So we have the top one here, which shows that action is still needed on this particular reservation. We're gonna go ahead and click on it. We give owners up to 24 hours to accept a booking request. We can see in this example, we recently received this booking request because we have 23 hours and 55 minutes left. You've also received an email from us confirming the same information. So we can do a number of things. We can approve this right away. We can decline it because for whatever reason, it's unavailable or we're not interested right now, or we can let it expire. That's not something we wanna do because that affects your quality score. So I'm gonna show you what decline looks like. I'm gonna click on that. And in here, you can provide a message to the traveler for example, if you, the, the dates aren't available and you wanted the traveler to choose different dates, that's where you would go ahead and message here. So for demonstration purposes, we're simply gonna click back and we're gonna show you a few other features. You can approve it, like we said, but perhaps you need more time to decide. If that's the case, you can click on this, this sentence here. I'm gonna click on it and a pop-up appears. What we do is, as mentioned, we give owners already 24 hours to accept a booking request. If you click on extend my acceptance period, you will receive an additional 24 hours. So if you go in and uh, as soon as you receive an email from us, if you go in and want to extend the period, you technically have up to 48 hours to decide. We're gonna go ahead and click this button to show you how it looks. Okay, so you had up to 48 hours and the clock started ticking. So in this example, we now have 47 hours and 53 minutes to approve or decline before this reservation expires. So uh, what else can we see here? All the details if you scroll down. It shows the status. We're still in the action needed section. It shows the actual listing. Perhaps you're managing more than one property, so this comes in handy, as well as the title of the listing, the check-in, check-out dates, uh, number of guests. In this case, there are no pets. Of course, the cancellation policy is firm, uh, and the subtotal is $169.50. And uh, when you scroll over, you can see that we are explaining how that fee is calculated. There below that is the processing fee and the commission. So the bottom total payout is what you will receive for this particular booking request. There is also guest information. So this guest, her name is Dominique, and her message reads, my husband and I are looking to get away for one night and your cottage looks perfect. Let me know, thanks. So all the details that we need are available to us and we're gonna go ahead and approve this perfect booking request. Click Approve. Great, the booking has been approved. And as you can see, under Reservation Details, the status is now accepted. 
what you can do is you can go and look at all your reservations one more time and it shows you the status of everything. The other thing you can do under this section, the middle section, so not the main menu, but the sub menu reservations, you can look at your transaction history. This shows you all the transactions that you've had with Canada States, the ones that have already been completed. And you can also see your future transactions. What that means is the traveler has not yet checked in, so we haven't paid it out. But this is, at the top right-hand corner, what is owed to you. So as soon as the traveler checks in one business day later, this is the amount that your bank will start processing into your account. If you have any questions, you can contact our customer support team. You can call them directly at this number, or you can chat right from this website, or you can submit an email. Thanks for watching our tutorial on how to respond to a booking request.